guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because we are filming a collab with my friend Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. I found her channel through Georgia Harris because her and Georgia do a live stream every Sunday night. If you haven't caught that yet, it's actually pretty fun. It's always a bunch of creators and you know subscribers and they talk about really fun things and we always end up talking about makeup, new releases, and talking about products. It's so, so just entertaining because it's very casual and you still get to interact with people in the live chat. So actually one of my favorite live streams to follow is the Half Cousins podcast. I'll try and remember to link that channel down below. But this is about Lacey and Lacey's great. We both love eyeshadow palettes. It's unreal. I think she might actually buy more eyeshadow palettes than I do. I'm, I'm pretty sure she buys more eyeshadow palettes than I do. We have, I think if we lined up our palette collection, we would probably have a lot of overlap, but I think we have a few outliers too. I love talking to her on Instagram, and she's always posting pictures of the things she's buying, and I'm always commenting about whether I bought it or not. She's just a cool person. She's very sweet. And I just love her whole vibe and she reminds me of my younger self because a lot of the things she's going through right now I feel like I've experienced when I was getting done with college and stuff like that. So if you feel like you can relate, I would totally recommend checking out her channel because she's totally sweet and yeah, she's just a fun YouTuber and I'm so happy we were able to do this collab. We talked about it couple of weeks, maybe a month or two ago, and finally I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I have time now that I have my house to myself, so let's go ahead and do this collab. So today we're just gonna talk really quick about five palettes that deserve more love in our collection, because like I said, we both love eyeshadow palettes, and I would probably say just for myself, I know I have way too many eyeshadow palettes. You guys have seen a few of my eyeshadow palette collection videos where I even have some palettes that I bought that I've never used, which was definitely an eye-opener for me to film, and it was a little bit embarrassing because a lot of you were like, really? And a lot of you also told me that you could totally relate that you had palettes that you had bought that you hadn't used up yet or tried out yet, so that made me feel a little bit better. But these are palettes I have tried, I love, that I just wish I had more time and energy and more eyes to get use out and make a dent on. So I'm gonna stop blabbering because that was the longest intro ever and get into it. So the first palette I wanna to talk to you about is this guy. I don't think this would be a surprise to anyone. This is my favorite ColourPop palette. I didn't think it would be, but the I Think I Love You palette is just a amazing neutral palette that is great for travel. I took this on a work trip at the beginning of the year and I did not regret it one bit. I could do the same neutral eye look. If I wanted to amp it up, there's always a black so you can really create like a beautiful dramatic nighttime look. Um, otherwise, this is great for the daytime. The shimmers are amazing. They swatch so beautifully and I just love this because it isn't an expensive palette. So if you took it traveling and you know it happened to get in a travel accident or you lost it, you'd be okay. But yeah, this is such a cute palette and it is one of my favorites from ColourPop. The next palette that does not get enough love in my collection is this one by Huda. This is the Desert Dusk palette. Oh my gosh, I was so obsessed with this color story when she announced it. And I'm just so sad because I know I love these colors and I want to use this palette more. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to try out her larger palettes. I know a lot of people really like her mini palettes. I personally think the formula is a little bit better on her bigger palettes. Here are some of the swatches from this palette. And yeah, they're just buttery, creamy mattes. I love the shimmer shades. I like to pair them with the Too Faced Glitter Glue. It just helps them go on more opaque, but there's some beautiful dual chrome shades. And I feel like Berry is so big right now in the beauty community. You could still pick up this palette and get so many looks. There's also this really fun pressed glitter in here called Cosmo. But yeah, I just love her eyeshadow palettes. I really like the rose gold, the original one too, except for those foil shades on top. The mattes are beautiful. I did end up buying the remastered because I heard so many good things about that particular palette. But I think this is my first love when it comes to Huda. I think this is the one where she kind of corrected all the errors she made in the original rose gold palette and gave us like a really fun collection of mattes and shimmers and I just really like this palette and I wish I used it more but I have it so maybe I'll do like a throwback or something 
at some point on my channel. This is the palette that made me fall in love with Colored Rain. I've talked about this palette numerous times on my channel. This is the Queen of Hearts palette. I believe this was on sale too, not too long ago, so hopefully more of you guys were able to pick it up, but if you do find it on sale or even not on sale, honestly guys, just snatch this palette up because the shimmers are so pretty and the mattes are beautiful and it just blends so well. These are the foil shades and I just love Colored Rain's formula. I have some singles from them. I just bought their Vivid Brights collection or whatever that's called and yeah, I just have so many palettes from them. I bought the Cheers to Beauty. I bought two of the mini palettes. They're one of my favorite indie brands and I just think this palette is great. I think this is like the new, if I could call this the new Naked palette, that's what I would call it because I think even if you're scared of color, you would get really good use out of these shades. And there's still like a fun range in this palette. I also love the packaging. This part definitely gets dirty. It's more like a soft touch cardboard packaging. But oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good, you guys. Okay, the fourth palette I want to talk to you guys about is the Douche Palette by Juvia's Place. Now, I have all of the Juvia's Place palettes, but this is definitely my favorite color story of all. I've just been obsessed with pinks and berries on my eyeballs, and this one just has everything I need. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And then there's a pop of the mint as well, but gosh these palettes are so good and they're so affordable and creamy and I just love them so much so I really really wish I was able to show this palette more love there's one time I literally just picked this up and kept using it in the springtime because it was just so beautiful and yeah so I just I love this palette I'm sorry I don't know what else to say I wish I used it more it's beautiful it's beautiful and if you haven't bought it definitely check it out so what I try to do is save the best for last, and these palettes, I am so sad that I don't give them enough love, but I decided to cheat and include all four of my Mothership palettes from Pat McGrath. I just picked up palette number five. It's actually the palette I have on my eyes today, but these guys, oh my gosh, they are quite the splurge item so I don't expect anyone to you know run out and buy these but they are amazing like basically to the point they're so amazing that you literally won't need another eyeshadow palette I would just say just buy this and don't buy anything else like if you aren't a youtuber and you only need one eyeshadow palette you don't need to buy any of the other crap I just talked about these, these palettes honestly like will knock your socks off so like I said I have all of them including the newest one. Oh my gosh I could do this all day I could sit here and swatch these all day I know my friend Kat is also obsessed with Pat McGrath as is um, Melissa Gold and I wonder I don't think Lacey has any Pat McGrath palettes so I'm hoping that I can basically peer pressure her in this video to purchase some because that girl is missing out on these I think anyone that's a youtuber that hasn't tried out Pat McGrath is severely missing out because I feel like everyone is caught up in like Natasha Denona and I get it because I think you get more shadows in a Natasha Denona palette but Holy crap, like do you see this? I just swatched two shades from all four of those palettes and they're so stunning. So here are like some of the shades from the palettes that I wish I had given more love to in my collection, but I love Pat McGrath. I know they're expensive. Try and pick them up on a sale. Now that Sephora carries them, you can wait for the VIB sale in November. I feel like I'm going to be talking about Pat McGrath quite a bit on my channel this week, so stay tuned because I will have a review video up of the new palette as well, which also includes a demo on how I did this look. That's it for palettes that I wish I had more time for or palettes that are in my collection that I know deserve more love from me. I want to say again thank you Lacey for collabing with me hopefully we can do more collabs in the future if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below also don't forget to check out Lacey's video because I'm sure she's got a ton of cool palettes to tell us about as well and thank you guys for watching have a good day bye